Hello YouTube, this is actually my first YouTube video and I'm going to be doing a small review of uh, Office for Mac 2008. First, the specs of this machine has a, is running 10.5.7, the latest software, uh, with a 2.4 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor and 2 gigs of memory. So it's a pretty competent machine for running most software actually. We'll see how fast uh, Office boots later on. Okay, first some general word about Office. I've installed this uh, Office suite for about a year now, so I think that I can give you a bit more insight to it as to how it runs in my everyday life. And I think that it is worse than the Windows version. It doesn't have as many features. It's a bit slower. It doesn't seem as integrated into the OS. And it's kind of buggier at times as I've seen it crashing but not too often, once in a while, for example, Word, I change the settings and I see that spinning beach ball for like two to three minutes and I have to force quit it. Though, if you really want to try Office for Mac 2008, there is a trial out and so you can just try it out. The next Office is coming in, I think, 2010 to 2011, so just a small note there. Okay, so let's start out with word oh uh, FYI no entourage on the dock because I don't use entourage so I can't really say much about it yes as you can see that was 11 bounces I would say that on the average word takes about 10 to 13 bounces to start up from a cold start but then on the warm start, like when it, I quit it and I run it again, it only takes about one to three bounces. Okay, so just some general word about Word, I guess. <laughs> A big thing that Word has that previous versions don't have is Notebook View. Now personally, I don't really like Notebook View because I kind of find it limiting. and. I once tried out the microphone actually, there's this microphone feature and I don't really find it that the quality isn't that good and actually if I record a class for example I like using GarageBand using the podcast feature because it doesn't pick up as much background noise but that's just how I've seen it. Also Microsoft doesn't really have a OneNote for Mac, I don't really see Notebook View as an equivalent as it is severely limited. If you do want something like OneNote but it's on the Mac side, I would recommend uh, Circus Pony's Notebook. They have a trial for 30 days. You can just try it out and I kind of like it so I, I strongly recommend it. And that's Word. And just a small point, this is how long it takes for a warm start. Not very long at all. Okay, so for Excel, this is approximately how long it takes to boot. I'm not sure, but in the past, it usually takes around six to seven bounces on a dock on a cold start. I'm not sure whether the new updates have been changing this, but it seems to load quite fast for some reason. I don't use Excel too often, but one of the main uh, cons about it some people say is that it doesn't have visual basic support anymore so if you want things like analysis tool pack which I would uh, really really want on this um, Excel it, there's nothing here you can't do anything with that and there is still no analysis tool pack even though the Mac boot the uh, division of Microsoft that makes uh, their Mac products says they're gonna have one coming out it's still not out yet so that's not so good for Excel um, right now I still use my TI-83 for basic stat regression things like that but you might have to use another product if you want something <clears throat> like that because Excel doesn't offer that support though Solver is available for Excel but I don't use it so yeah and from what I see the palette is actually very intuitive especially when you're working with graphs 
I once tried the ribbon before on the 07 version, the Windows version of Excel, and I had a hard time figuring out where everything was. When you make a graph on this version of Excel, like for Mac, the palette is very intuitive and you can edit things very, very easily. And that's Excel. Okay, there's PowerPoint. Now, I'm a student, that's why I got the student version. If I know. Uh, so, uh, these four applica uh, applications are the things that came with um, this office suite. And I use PowerPoint a lot for opening up, obviously, uh, things that my professor sent me tons and tons of PowerPoint slides and it might be even in the new format which is PPTX and from what I see it seems to open them up very very well and this also goes for the other apps if I open up DocX it still opens up very well in Microsoft Word so I would say that compatibility at least at the basic level is not a problem Okay, Entourage again, I have no experience using it, so I can't really say much. Though once I did have a problem when I wanted to import Clipart from the online Microsoft Office site, uh, it didn't let me import and I had to change the file name, which is, which is kind of annoying. I'm not sure whether they fixed it or not, but just uh, something to point out. And just a kind of a big thing for Office is that the spaces integration is not good at all. For example, we were set to space 4 uh, for Word, it might jump around for some reason, it might go to space 1, and then you have to close it and you have to open it again, and it will be in space 4 again, which I find very, very annoying. Um, also, uh, some people might say that the update feature is not very good, the Microsoft Auto Update feature. Now, I have it set to check weekly, but since I read tech news quite often, I usually check for updates before it actually does. And it, for me, the update experience has been very, very good. I haven't experienced any problems with it. Though one small thing to point out is that I don't use Monolingual to clean up my language files. For some people, they have used it to clean out their language files, and in the end, it kind of messes up their office, and they can't update it. Well, um, I haven't had that problem as I don't use monolingual, but it might be one thing to point out is to not use monolingual for Office. As, yeah, it might cause some problems in the end. So in the end, for Office, it has been an overall good experience. And if I had to rate this out of 5, I would give it 3.5 out of 5. And that's my review of Office. Feel free to leave comments at the bottom. And if you have any questions you might want to ask, I can answer them, I'll reply to your comments. Then I recently joined Twitter, uh, my username is uh, PicoTweet, P-I-C-O, Tweet. -O -tweet. Uh, just a small geek fact, Pico is 10 to the negative 12 after Nano, which is 10 to the negative 9. If time allows for it, I'm going to make more videos in the next coming days. Hopefully about other tech gadgets I've lying around the house or of some other applications I've tried out. Okay then, see you next time. Take care.